Hey guys and welcome back to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Bronte, in case you didn't already know. If you're not already, please subscribe to the Makeup Loft down below. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get a flawless foundation, my flawless foundation routine pretty much. What I do every day to get a glowing base. I love a good glowing face so this is pretty much my go-to and I'm going to give you my own tips and tricks along the way. So I hope you guys enjoy it and if you would like to see how I get to to this look then please keep watching so you'll definitely be able to hear my dog throughout this video there he goes he's out the back and he likes to bark so that's always good fun I always start off now I never used to really do this but I always start now moisturizing my lips I've just found that I hate the look of when foundation gets on your lips and I always tend to do that so I normally just use these baby lips but this one is candy wow peach I actually really like the pink color that it gives my lips. Sometimes I just rock around with this. I've already moisturized, obviously that's super important. Make sure you moisturize straight away and I tend to put a lot of moisturizer on when I'm putting foundation on, especially in winter because right now my skin is so dry. To really get into the glowy skin, I have had a lot of like red spots recently, as you can see just not living my best life so I have been using the Maybelline Master Prime Anti Redness Primer. I also find that this works because I get real like a lot of redness around my nose so I always put it around this area right here pretty much where all my redness occurs. Then I'm going to use the Master Prime same primer except this is for an illuminating primer. I put this around my forehead and then along my cheeks sort of area just on the outside of my face. I just love this primer. It's so nice and it smells so good. I've been do doing this for a long time now but next I will go and use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Normal 2 Oily Skin Foundation and this is in the color 235 Beige Pure Beige. Even though it's for it's a matte foundation because I want to get more of a glowy perfect glowing face today I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid Illuminating Highlighter in 100 Light Clear Light Iridescent. So I'm going to of course mix these two together. I just sit them on a lid. Got fake tan on because I'm white at the moment. And then I'm going to mix them together. Together. I'm just going to apply it straight onto my face using this brush. And I always get my damp beauty blender always for a flawless face. If you really want that glowing flawless look, damp beauty blender is my life or just a damp blending sponge. And then I always blend it in before it dries. That's why I always do sections of my face get it while it's good and blendable. I tend to put most of my foundation around this area and then I leave sort of my eye area for my concealer. That's just another tip or something that I do. So this might be a little bit of an unpopular opinion, but I don't like to put the same color concealer over like any of my redness or anything like that, just because I think, and in my experience, I have found that it just makes it look worse. So I do put a little bit of extra foundation in the areas that I feel that needs it, but I won't cake it over the top with lots of concealer because I just find that it ends up looking cakey and generally draws attention. For concealer, I'm just going to go straight in with the Maybelline Master Conceal in 30 Light Medium. And because it's a little bit dark for my current skin tone, I'm going to mix in the tiniest bit of Master Conceal and it is 10 Fair or 10 Clear, I don't know. And just applying that under my eyes, I still do the same. I haven't changed much in terms of always putting my concealer under my eyes then etching out my brow and putting it over my lid too. Not too much on the lid, obviously, because it will go creasy. Blending down, hence why I don't do my brows first. <laughs> and I bring it down under my nose where I tend to get a bit of redness on my forehead and down my nose as well. Before I put any powder under my eyes, I am going to go a little bit next level with my um, highlight because I do want to get that really glowing look today. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick Illuminating Highlighter and it is in the color 200 Medium Nude Glow. Using my finger first, just around my temple and on the tops of my cheeks. As you can see, it sort of, hopefully you can see, adds an immediate glow just into the temple and just slightly above the brow. I 
pro tip though, I will never put a liquid highlighter or never again put a liquid highlighter down to highlight my nose just because it really highlights your pores and if you want your pores to stand out go ahead do that now I'm going to seal my concealer on my eyes and underneath and I'm going to use the Maybelline matte maker and this is in the color 10 classic ivory just because I crease a lot on my lids so I have to use a brush to sort of blend it out, get away that excess. Like I said, you don't want too much on there, but mine tend to crease immediately. But being careful not to go too much to where you put the liquid highlight because you don't want it to look cakey. And just put it anywhere you put the concealer. Then I'm grabbing the Maybelline Master Sculpt and this is in the color 01 Light Medium and it is a contouring palette. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the contour today. It's gonna be more of a light sweeping effect. Just to define the face a little bit more as opposed to contouring. A bit more of a sweeping, draping effect. For highlight today, I'm going to grab my OG favourite highlight, the Maybelline Master Chrome and Metallic Highlighter in the colour Molten Gold. To highlight over the top of the highlight, finally, just to make it pop a little bit more. I'm all about literally glowing in the sunlight. Literally. Exactly where I just put that highlight before and then as always I'm going to set my face using the Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray and here you have it guys this is the finished look of the day I just went and fixed put my mascara on I actually used the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara and my pencil liner to just create a little bit of a smoky wing. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned some tips and tricks of your own or something that you can apply to your look just because this is pretty much my go-to everyday skin routine pretty much when I'm doing my foundation. I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft below if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments below what you would like to see next and hopefully I'll see you all very very soon. Bye guys!